algebra 1 number 2.3a, we're going to add rational numbers on a number line. So we can add any two rational numbers by using a number line, just like doing whole numbers. But when we add a negative number, we move left. And we can put the negative number in parentheses to keep the signs apart. So we've got 2 plus a negative 5, and it's in parentheses because we don't want to confuse it with that plus sign. So we start at the 2 on the number line, which is right here, and we're going to add a negative 5. So that means we're going to take away 5. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that gets us to a negative 3. And look at it this way. What if you had a swimming pool? And the swimming pool was deep, and our number line was going vertically up and down instead of side by side horizontally. And you're on a diving board that's two feet above the pool, and the zero line is the water line. And you're two feet above the water, and we're going to add a five-foot dive. When you dive five feet, you're going to end up being at three feet below the water. So two plus a negative five equals negative three. See? If we have two plus the negative five, and we have the negative three, what happens if we add a negative 5 plus a 2 and make them switch places? We're going to get the same answer, negative 3, because the commutative property of addition says that we can change their order. If we're at a negative 5 and we add 2, we're going to be here at the negative 5, and we're going to go up 2 towards the positive, 1, 2. It takes us to negative 3. We've got the same answer. See? Commutative property says it doesn't matter which order we add them, okay? What if we switched their signs, though? What if instead of positive 2 and negative 5, we had negative 2 and positive 5, and their signs were switched? What would happen? Well, now we start at the negative 2, which is right here, and we're going to add 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, instead of negative 3, we get a positive 3. See? And if we switch places with them and have the positive 5 on this side and the negative 2 on this side, then... We're at the 5, and we're going to add a negative 2, so we're going to go back towards the negative, 1, 2. We're at 3 again. So either way, we're going to get the 3, because the commutative property of addition says we can change their order. But by changing their signs, when we change their signs, we get a different sum. So that's a big deal. We can change their order, but we can't change their sign, okay? What if we had negative 2 plus negative 3? Well, we start with negative 2 on our number line right here. Here's our 0, here's our negative 2, and we're going to add a negative 3. 1, 2, 3. That's going to get us a negative 5. Now, there's rules that we can follow that will tell us what to do when there's negatives and positives, and we're going to get into that in the next couple of videos. I just want to show you how to do this on a number line so that you can start to understand. What if we had 3 fourths plus a negative 1 fourth? All right, well, here's 0 on the number line, here's 1 on the number line, and each of these little lines are a fourth, so that's 1 fourth, 2 fourth, 3 fourths, so we start at the 3 fourths, and we're going to add a negative 1 fourth. That means we're going to go back towards the negative side to the left, and that's going to get us right here to 2 fourths, which is equal to 1 half when we simplify it. Now, I've got lots of videos on adding negative and positive integers. We covered a lot of this in sixth grade. So there's some video links in the description of this video for adding positive and negative numbers. If you want more help, there's plenty, okay? And they're in there. All you have to do is go to the description and click on the links, all right? So that's adding rational numbers on a number line. And what we're going to do in 2.3b is we're going to do it without the number line. And we're going to start talking about the rules, okay? I'll see you there. Bye.